ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமக சில்ட்ரன் வி வெல்கம் யூ டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் தி கண்டினியூஷன் ஆஃப் த லெசன் அ ட்ரைம்ப் ஆஃப் சர்ஜரி ஃப்ரம் யுவர் சப்ளிமெண்ட்ரி ரீடர் ஃபுட் பிரிண்ட்ஸ் வித்வுட் ஃபீஸ் சிபிஎஸ்இ கிளாஸ் டென் Within minutes, about 30 feet of gleaming black metal drew up outside the surgery. The chauffeur opened the door and I could just make out the figure of Mrs. Comfrey almost lost in the interior. Her hands were tightly clasped in front of her. Her lips trembled. Within few minutes, a long shining black car stopped outside the clinic. The driver opened the door of the car. Doctor could make out that Mrs. Comfrey was sitting inside the car. She was busy in her thoughts. She was tightly holding her hands together in front of her. Her lips shivered when she spoke. Oh, Mr. Harriet, do tell me the truth. Is he really better? She requested doctor to tell her the truth. She wanted to know if the dog had really become better. Yes, he is fine. There is no need for you to get out of the car. I will go and fetch him. Doctor replied that he was fine. He requested her to remain in the car. He said that he will go and bring Tricky. I walked through the house into the garden. A mass of dog was hurtling round and round the lawn and in their midst ear flapping, tail waving was the little golden figure of Tricky. Doctor walked into his house and then to the garden. A group of dogs was running in a circular path in the garden. In that group, there was a small golden color dog, Tricky. His ears were moving up and down and his tail was wagging. In two weeks, he had been transformed into a light, hard-muscled animal. He was keeping up well with the pack, stretching out in great bounds, his chest almost brushing the ground. In two weeks, he had become a thin, agile animal. His muscles had become hard. He was running well with the group. He was stretching himself to great extent. His chest was almost touching the ground. I carried him back along the passage to the front of the house. Dr. Harriet picked up Tricky and carried him through the passage to the front of the house. The chauffeur was still holding the car door open and when Tricky saw his mistress, he took off from my arms in a tremendous leap and sailed into Mrs. Comfrey's lap. The driver had kept the door of the car still open. Tricky saw his mistress. He made a big jump from his arms. He moved into the lap of Mrs. Comfrey. She gave a startled, Ooh! and then had to defend herself as he swamped over her, licking her face and barking. With great surprise, she spoke, Ooh! Tricky had jumped on her lap. She had to protect herself. He was licking her face and barking with affection and happiness. During the excitement, I helped the chauffeur to bring out the beds, toys, cushions, coats and bowls, none of which had been used. During this happiness, doctor helped the driver to bring all the clothes and toys of Tricky. None of these were used in the clinic. As the car moved away, Mrs. Pumphrey leaned out of the window. Tears shone in her eyes. Her lips trembled. Oh, Mr. Harriet, she cried. How can I ever thank you? This is a triumph of surgery. The car started to move away. Mrs. Pumphrey stuck her head out of the window. Her eyes were full of tears. Her lips were shivering. She was so happy that it was not possible to express her thanks. She said, this is a triumph of surgery. I hope you would have enjoyed this lesson children. Do subscribe our YouTube channel for further updates. Thank you children.